The YSL Rico trial just changed forever. Even Lil Baby had to say, it's about time thugs coming home. Slime's been in the cell too long. The trial is over. Judge is crazy. As it was just announced that Judge Glanville had been recused from the YSL Rico trial after young thug and his co-defendants petitioned to have him removed. As the judge is officially gone from the entire YSL case, it would then lead into announcement of, Judge Ingram has been assigned as the new judge in young thug's YSL Rico trial. As rap lawyers would end up reacting to the new judge in the case and they would give opinions on what this actually means i smell rico charges judge glanville has been recused from the ysl trial this is the order from judge rachel kraus granting the motion to recuse judge glanville from the case now will this case continue with a new judge taking over midway i don't think so i think you have to start from scratch which means new jury that new judge is going to have to come up with come up to speed with all of the evidentiary rulings that have happened in this case, and then you start all over again. When is this trial supposed to finish? 2030? It's a damn shame because this guy probably had a great long career. He was the chief judge in Fulton County. He's a military veteran. He's probably a very accomplished individual, but his legacy will be nothing more than he was extremely biased he had had it out for the defendants. As the famous rap lawyer believes that the RICO charges against the 20 YSL members are now practically non-existent. As Judge Glanville was at the top of the entire court system in Atlanta, and he even folded in the YSL RICO case. Lawyers don't believe any judge will be up to the task to just come into the trial, read all of the transcripts, and then be up to date with everything. As the famous rap lawyer would then go on to explain Young Thug's next move, which also hints towards his release date. What's next? Next, in the YSL case, we have a new judge. Judge Ingram has been assigned the case. You're gonna see a couple of motions filed by each of the defendants. First, they're gonna file a motion for bond. Second, they're gonna file a motion for a mistrial. The bond argument is easy. They're gonna argue he's been locked up forever. Now he's gonna be locked up for God knows how long is forever. Can we get him a bond? The argument for a mistrial is gonna be very interesting. They're gonna to go to Judge Ingram. They're gonna say, Judge Ingram, you're going to have to pick up this case midway. You're going to have to make all these rulings going forward. But before you can do that, you got to read about everything that's happened. You got to read about the court transcript, every line from the longest trial in Georgia history. This is already the longest trial ever. Then you're going to have to read about all the motions, evidentiary objections, pre-trial rulings, in-trial rulings. It's going to take you God knows how long before the trial is ready to resume. And will the jury be ready to resume? They've already been out for weeks. As the madness would continue in the YSL trial is not only one day later, the second judge would then also leave the entire case. It would be announced, the new judge assigned to the YSL RICO trial recuses herself only after two days of being on the case. This now makes it a third judge needing to come in, take over the YSL RICO trial, read all of the transcripts and get to know the jury, then the trial could start again. Now this is absolute madness. Kodak Black's lawyer would even react saying, and I quote, the case and the judge is off the reservation. This is an instant mistrial. I cannot believe the judge thinks that taking a defense attorney into custody isn't a mistrial. As the madness of needing extra judges all started when Judge Glanville thought that it was okay to have young thugs defense attorney Brian arrest in the middle of the courtroom. Take Mr. Take Mr. Steele in the custody, please. Yes, sir. You certainly may. Mr. Williams does not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me against um, his will, my will, you're taking away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present, and I can't learn about it by watching online. So for that reason, additionally, I asked for a mistrial. And now, Judge Glanville wanted Brian arrested because Brian wasn't snitching. The prosecutors were trying to pin evidence against Young Thug for allegedly taking somebody's life. However, Brian Steele got intel from a source of his relating to YSL Woody being the guilty one of doing the crime. However, the judge's corner was the only few people that were supposed to know about that intel for right now. When Brian Steele would make it public to the entire courtroom, including live stream, the judge would go absolutely absolutely off on Brian Steele, asking how in the world do you know this, and if you don't tell, we're gonna arrest you. Take Mr. Take Mr. Steele in the custody, please. 
guys be in front of the Yes, sir, you certainly may. Mr. Williams does not wish to go forward without me being here. You are removing me against um, his will, my will. You're taking away his right to counsel. And you're conducting material parts of this trial without me present. And I can't learn about it by watching online. So for that reason, additionally, I asked for a mistrial. And As right here, Brian Steele is standing on business for his client. He's sticking to the literal street code of never snitch, never tell. This left sources saying that young thug was shaking his head up and down, showing that he respects what his lawyer just did. Now, Judge Glanville wasn't done with Brian. He would end up revealing that Brian's jail sentence would be 10 weekends inside a jail, being a total of 20 days. He asks that if the appeal doesn't get him a bond, Brian wants to know, can he spend the weekends in jail with young thug being bunk mates with his client judge glanville did agree however this was until brian's team of 40 lawyers stormed the courtroom getting brian Steele released from his jail duties on a bond however the madness doesn't end here and what's next relates to young thug's release day as reports would come out sharing and i quote young thug's co-counsel keith adams just said that he has the same information as brian Steele, and he has now filed a motion for a mistrial this would leave hip-hop reporters sharing and i quote the young thug why so trial is in shambles. Surely this is a mistrial within 24 hours. Even leaving Lil Baby saying, give Thug a mistrial and free slime. The mistrial will happen for one specific reason and allow me to explain. It's all based on the prosecutors literally not doing their jobs correctly. It goes and reads that the judge in Young Thug's trial was arguing with the state because they were unprepared with evidence. That's too late. The evidence is excluded. The evidence is excluded. I'm going to exclude. I'm going to exclude because I told you that this was going to happen. Uh uh. Uh uh. No 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 no. We're excluding that. This is the last. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I am not going to tolerate this any further. If you don't get together with your colleagues and flag issues and 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 resolve them promptly, and if I have to take them up, remember. I can exclude them, we'll work the weekends, or we'll do a combination of both. So this time, I'm gonna exclude, I'm gonna exclude, I'm gonna exclude that, those two sections. There's nothing in I am not gonna, I am not gonna have any, I'm not gonna have any more discussion about this, madam, I'm not. I don't, well, you know what? And I attempted to try to talk to them earlier this week. Well, then that's, that, well, that's why we have to. I'm not punishing anybody. This would then lead into the prosecutors having a meltdown inside a court where it would be announced an ex-investigator with the Atlanta police took the stand under cross-examination on Monday in the YSL RICO trial. During one moment, former investigator Lakia got into a brief exchange with defense attorney Max. And D'Angelo White's response was, we had, correct? Yes, he did say that, and it was more to that as well. We had guns and sh Yes, he stated that. Okay. We, being plural, correct? Correct? Are you insulting my intelligence by asking if we means plural? I think you are, though. Okay. I think you are. All right, well, it's Sir, don't put, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, sir, let's be respectful to our witness, okay? I'm very respectful, Judge, and I always will. I doubt it. As the entire mistrial is going to happen because the Atlanta Police Department are trying to lie about evidence on Young Thug. This would even lead into Brian Steele calling out the entire Atlanta Police Department for lying about the evidence, which reads, Your Honor, as my eyes roll, I'm about to show you why I don't believe the city of Atlanta at all. I have no recording of whom. Who, 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 okay. Detective Lewis at the hospital, Grady Hospital, September 11, 2013, meets with Walter Murphy. And your honor, as my eyes roll out of my head, I'm about to show you why I do not believe the city of Atlanta Police Department at all. This is served in discovery. I will mark it Mr. Williams C and D. And then you tell me if I'm supposed to believe the allegations 
from the state of Georgia. As this is where everything would get heated inside of the courtroom, the judge would end up calling out Brian Steele for stating that the Atlanta Police Department lies about evidence because this could jeopardize Brian's entire career. Stating that an entire police department lies could definitely affect his entire career. Well, I'm not conceding that. Well, I, I, I'm going to tell you that I haven't heard anything that would indicate that that that's truth. Yeah, well, you, yeah. that you have a you have a good faith basis to ask that. You haven't heard anything of who he spoke with. That's my point. That's the point. He's but the, but but you all can't. But you two, neither one of you can proffer that. Judge, it's pro it's not proper, Mr. Steele. No, no, no. Listen, it's not. It, it it would be a violation before me for you to for you to put that in front of this jury. In the September 17, 2000. You are saying to the court that you have a belief that there is another statement out there. There's not. Why could you, how could you say that? Because there, it hasn't been brought up. If, if, it, if it gets brought up, then we'll correct it at that point in time. But right now, I'm going to direct you not to not to inquire that line. You don't have a basis to do so. As the evidence that they're discussing is based around a man named Adrian Bean. The Atlanta Police Department are trying to use evidence against Young Thug that Adrian told them in 2013. However, now in 2024, Adrian says he doesn't remember giving them the evidence. As the original report reads, Adrian Bean is not bound by a plea deal. He was a part of a 2013 crime where four people were involved, but one escaped and was never caught. They need Bean to snitch on Young Thug on the stand like he did in 2013, however now he refuses. As Adrian did originally snitch on Young Thug in 2013 to avoid jail time, Young Thug was the one person that was able to escape the crime and was never caught. But now, since the police took over a decade to start the RICO takedown of Atlanta, Adrian has now forgot about the crime as the police were just had an understanding that he would end up snitching again, but now he doesn't want to. After you answer the question, which you have to do because i don't remember none of nothing that happened in 2013 that's what i'm trying to explain to you i understand mm -hmm. what i have to do is mm -hmm. ask you some questions and determine what you do and don't remember so what is your response as to whether or not you recognize the images shown in defendant's exhibit number eight i don't remember all right and i'm going to show you defendant's exhibit number 81 do you recognize what's shown there? No, ma'am. All right. What about number 101 for defendant exhibits? You see a car, but I don't remember. Okay, that's fine. Is your answer the same for defendant's exhibit number 82, number 89, and defendant's exhibit 90? Yes, Lots can happen within 11 years as the crime did occur in 2013. Some sources claim that YSL members could have paid Adrian off to not snitch, but others believe that he actually did forget, as Adrian would go on to reveal why he forgot. I really don't have any knowledge about 2013, ma'am. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I don't really have any knowledge about 2013. Once I have went to prison and came home from prison and done my time, everything that happened in 2013 or whatever has been put behind me and set forth so I've been, you know, working and, and just doing my thing since I came home from prison. I don't have no knowledge of nothing that happened 10 years ago. As the prosecutors need him badly to snitch on Young Thug again, as the YSL Rico trial has been going on for two years, and the only evidence that they have shared about Young Thug is from an investigator who would go on to reveal that Lil Wayne has the same street affiliation as Young Thug. And are you familiar with who this individual is? I am. And who is that? It's uh, Dwayne Carter. Okay. And does he have another name that he goes by? He does. And what is it? Lil Wayne. And are you aware, um, do any of your non-transparence, if Mr. Um, Carter, Dwayne Carter, identif self-identifies as a member of I believe that he does. Okay. Tell the jury if you need to stand with the stick and point to what those identifiers are within Defense Exhibit 31. There's a large MOB across his chest, um, often used particularly by West Coast but um, is used across the country. 
Um, he has five um, red five point stars across his chest. As the investigator is literally just trying to prove to the jury that rappers have street affiliations, as the second piece of evidence would be about YNW Melly. As the two rappers were involved in a Facebook post together, where the investigator would try to make the claim that Young Thug and YSL are connected in the streets to YNW Melly's team, YNW. Same thing, the use of the uh, slap term, five point star, snake. Uh, he's saying he's YSL. Doug, and uh, he puts up his YNW uh, for life hashtag on it with the uh, five point star as well. Mr. Demons has the big beat hand signs posted uh, displayed. Okay, and see with individuals again. I'm assuming that's also the young thug. That's all that's kind of Yes. Also important to your investigation, correct? Yes. Also publicly available for anyone to see and 